Welcome back to this week's episode of Austin's Academy of Sports, where today there's just MLB going on. NBA playoffs wrapped up, NHL playoffs wrapped up, NFL doesn't start until August. So MLB is the main sport right now, uh, besides uh, tennis. There's a few tennis events going on, but MLB, the highlight of the, the sports sports world right now. So let's talk about a little bit of the Detroit Tigers on on how their season's going. Uh, in the show, I'm going to grade their season, explain their injuries, um, explain what's going on with them, and that's kind of it right there. So first, let's start with their record. The Tigers are 27-39 and 39 coming into today's game, where today they are on the road playing the Twins, Minnesota Twins. Minnesota Twins, they are first in the division, but they're 35-33. and 33. That is not a very good record. Um, they, uh, I mean, they're leading the division, but the division kind of sucks. The AL Central is terrible. Um, the worst team has 18 wins and 50 losses with the Kansas City Royals, and then the Tigers is right, at, right ahead of them with 27 wins and 39 losses. So with that being said, they're in fourth place in the division, the Tigers are. Um, they were on a hot streak. They were in last month. This month, June, they're one and eleven. Yep, you heard me right, one and eleven. Um, they just got swept in a doubleheader yesterday. Uh, the day before that, they got rained out, and then Monday was their last win. Today is Thursday. Uh, they're one and eleven in their last twelve games. So it's it's kind of a rough go, um, but we'll see if we turn it around. I'm hoping they I'm hoping they do turn it around because on. Um, June 24th, Saturday, my family is going to the game. I was really hoping to see Tarek Skubal back or Riley Green back or Eduardo Rodriguez back, but I doubt they will be. We'll talk a little bit more about that in the show a little later. Um, so let's talk about a little bit of the players. Javier Baez, our big signing that Al Avila, before he left, signed to like a six-year contract. High, one of the highest players... Play, highest paid players on the team besides Miguel Cabrera. Um, he will be retired in the season, by the way. I'm sure you guys know that. But Javi Baez, is, is, he's, I don't think he wants to play for the Tigers anymore. I mean, he's not even trying. The, the way that he plays is just he swings full throttle at every pitch, and he... He, he wails on it. Every once in a while, in garbage time, he'll get a home run. Like the other day, he got a, ho- a home run in the ninth inning, considered garbage time, uh, when they were down like, I don't know, seven runs. So he got a home run, but it's just not watchable to watch him play. Um, he's not the best on defense either. I mean, when he gets a put-out try, he like, spikes it in the ground and Torque has to bail him out at first base which is weird because I don't know what he does before the game apparently he's out there early practicing getting some batting reps batting reps in and throwing the ball around the field a little bit but I just don't see it on the field so I'm kind of mad with that signing I was happy at the beginning but then the signing kind of went down um so let's talk about who the best player is on the Tigers right now. I would say the best player was Riley Green, and then he got injured. Uh, stress fracture in his left fibula. Six to eight weeks have gone by, or are going to go by before he he returns. Um, that We're on probably week three, week, week three and a half maybe. Um, but I don't think he'll come back until maybe mid-July, and the Tigers will... will what am I saying? They're already out of playoff contention, so seven games back. Um, so I don't think, uh, I mean, he'll come back in garbage time, get some reps for, there's always 2024. <laughs> get used to saying that. Um, but for Riley Green, he's a absolute dog of a player. He's, he's one of the best players in center field. He can dive for the ball. He can rob a home run. And this is all, of course, when he's playing. Um, he can hit the ball. He's a great left-handed hitter. 
and he was one of the top Tigers picks in 2019 besides Torkelson. So um, he can't wait for him to come back. The future is bright with the Tigers organization with all the young picks, but they just have to produce. Speaking of future, um, the minor leaguers for the Tigers, Toledo, Erie, West Michigan, and Lakeland, they're all doing pretty good. So that must mean that all the players are down there are maturing and in a few years will be in the big leagues. Like we got Colt Keith, who's in double A at Erie. We've got uh, Parker Meadows in triple A. We've got uh, Jace Young in high A. I've seen him play against the Loons. Uh, he had a great series at Dow Diamond. Um, so I'm just waiting for him to to get the call up to double A, maybe at the end of the season and then triple A at the end at next season. Um, but he won't be in the league until 2025. So um, we got, who am I missing? We got uh, Jackson Job, who's on the injured list in minor leagues, but he'll be, he's coming back soon. Um, and those are just some highlighted players there that I know of. Um, but speaking of injured players, we've got a ton of injured players on the Tigers roster. Um, let me pull that list up real quick. Let's first start with outfielder Akil Badu. Recently, he had a right quad strain running down to first base, uh, trying to leg out a infield uh, ground ball. It was, I think, Sunday. And he, it, he, was, he was mad. He slammed his helmet down in disgust. Of course, he was out. And he, he, he's not coming back. I, it was considered more mild. So I would say the end of July, middle of July, maybe. Um, but he, of cur- um, this is all according to the Detroit Tigers Major League Medical Update as of June 13th. Um, so he's complete, currently completing rehab daily. So that's uh, Akil Badu there. Then we got pitcher Bo Brisky with a right ulnar nerve entrapment. He's been out this whole year, um, but good news is he's getting his rehab transferred from West Michigan to Toledo, which is the level right before the major leagues. So I expect him back maybe next week um, or maybe like the beginning of the week after. The last week of June, definitely middle, uh, early July. By 4th of July, he'll be back. Um, he pitched one inning two nights ago with Toledo. He did very well. Um, and I'm looking forward to, for him to come back because we need pitchers. And he could come back as a starter, but I doubt it. He'll probably go to the bullpen. Um, but he's on the right track, of course. And then we got Alex Fiedo. He injured himself his uh, fingernail. He had a massive cut on his fingernail, and he had to get it removed. So he's in rehab right now. Um, so he's initiated a throwing program, and he's thro- progressing his throwing volume this week, which, of course, ends pretty soon. So I expect a rehab assignment for him probably latter part of next week. Um <laughs> And then, of course, we got Riley Green, which I which I already mentioned. He's playing catch daily. So he'll be back mid-July. Matt Manning, another pitcher. He's on the right track. He's um, scheduled to make his next rehab start on the 16th, which is tomorrow, for Toledo. And then he'll probably get one more, and then he'll be called up probably the same time as Bo Brisky. Casey Mize hasn't pitched this whole, whole season. Tommy John surgery. And a lumbar strain. Um, he's playing catch about five times a week. I doubt he'll be back this year, but he'll be ready by training camp next year. So that's good news. Freddie Pacheco, um, he hasn't pitched this whole year, but he's completing rehab daily with another Tommy John surgery. And then, of course, Eduardo Rodriguez, I mentioned earlier, um, he's continuing to progress his throwing program. He'll probably start a rehab assignment in the next two weeks down in Toledo, get one or two starts down there, and then be called up in mid-July. And Tarek Skubal, one of my favorite players on the team, has not pitched this year yet, but he's on the right track as well. I'm thinking by 4th of July he'll be back in the starting rotation 
expected to pitch tonight for Toledo, um, the 15th. So make sure you turn into that. And then Trey Whittinger, he's rehabbing in Lakeland right now as a bullpen pitcher. He'll be back probably next week. And uh, that's all the um, injuries right now. But, of course, there'll be more. And finally, I for grading the Tiger season so far coming into the halfway point, I would say probably a C, C+. Plus. Um, they're in a bad division, but they're not helping themselves out. So that's why I'm giving them a C plus. Um, they started out decent, but then injuries took over, and now they're they're going back down. So C plus. Make sure you tune in tonight for the Tigers Valley Sports Detroit seven ten. Always go Detroit, and uh, I'll see you next time.